Hello, really quick video for some people looking for templates for finished links. Uh, so you can see I have three cameras loaded. Uh, this one is actually the only line scan camera. The other two are Identilinks. Doesn't really matter, just threw them in here. Uh, I don't normally use this computer for links. So if I load up a new file, you'll see that I've got camera two and camera one on here. But if I wanted to do something a little bit more uh, you know, interesting with these cameras, you know, I can come into the uh, event menu and I can choose a different layout, which is great. And when we open a new event and we get this all sorts of craziness here. Um, the thing is that this is not particularly useful the way it is set up right now. Uh, so uh, let's come in and do a little bit more of a reasonable, this is my preferred layout, generally speaking, but as you see, we have three cameras. So if we want to run camera one, maybe down here, we can uh, do that. So that's the, the main line scan camera. And then we can say, we're not gonna run it on the right. And instead, instead on the right, we're gonna run camera three. So you can see here we have camera two, and we have camera three, and then we have camera one. Uh, so now the thing is that if we were to close this down, this is now a custom layout showing the cameras the way that we want them to be, be displayed. We can't do anything with it, uh, but we can save as a template. So we save it as a template and close out. And now when we come back into the event menu, we can come to event template and we can use default and we can select our template. Uh, now, so you can choose obviously, or you can have none and none will basically load whatever layout is up here. So click okay. And now when we load up, you can see we have the three cameras. Say no. And we're gonna come back over to event options and we're going to say none. And you'll see that when we load it up, it comes back to the original base configuration. So uh, not horribly interesting. However, if you're doing a special event where you might have three cameras going at some point in time, um, you might want to consider using this because it would be the, the way to uh, you know, quickly load things up. So using the, you know, always select would be one where you might want to go back and forth between a couple of different camera setups. So anyway, hope this helps. Uh, you know, just showing quickly how you can set up your own template for your cameras. And by the way, you can have the same camera in multiple locations, obviously. So we can say that we want the, we want camera three everywhere. So now we have camera three down below and camera three and camera three. Three cameras is the maximum that you can display in finish links at any given time, just FYI. Uh, doesn't mean you can't have more cameras loaded, it just means that three cameras is all you can you know, load natively. So, hope this helps. And uh, if you like this, please subscribe to the channel, consider subscribing and like the video. Thanks, bye-bye.